G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, 80 series time. Now before we get into this video, you all know the rules, but I have to say it anyway. I am in no way, shape or form a qualified mechanic, so if you're following along for this repair, service or information, you are doing it at your own risk. Now, um, I had a uh, viewer jump on the live stream from a couple of days ago, his name's Thomas. He's got a 93 Land Cruiser, 80 series like myself remembering I now own this outright and uh, he's got the big 1FZ FE petrol motor in it and it's getting apparently bogged down and running a little bit rich now there can be a couple of things you can do to fix you, fix it for yourself apart from obviously getting um, taking it to a mechanic and having it retuned and your mixtures all set but there's a few things you can do for yourself before you have to fork out that sort of money number one replace your spark plugs that's what I did over summer, as you know. Now, whether or not I do it again this summer coming for my, while I'm away for Christmas, I don't know yet. I'll have to check them out at a later date. But the other two things that you, you, you need to have a look at here is your mass block and your throttle body. Now, this is uh, the mass airflow sensor. Basically, it's a butterfly valve that opens and closes depending on how much air is required for the throttle body. If this is getting gummed up, this can bog the engine down. So you need to clean this. A bit of throttle body cleaner or a bit of silicon spray or WD-40 will clean this out. It's a little butterfly valve that sits here. All right. Now, if your air box is filthy and your air filter is filthy and you're dragging crap through here, it can get gummed up in this thing. You need to clean it out. Also, make sure you've got a good connection here with the... Um, the interface lead here because this leads down to your engine management computer so there's that then we've got the throttle body in itself now i'll go around the other side of the car to show you this it's just a bit easier to do it this way now this can get gummed up as well especially here at the at the throttle and you need to make sure that the the butterfly valve in here which as you know swings like that there's no crud across here that uh, it's clean inside again a bit of throttle body cleaner or a bit of silicon spray and clean out if you've got problems here also your injectors can cause trouble too so you can get you can take them out and clean them yourselves or put a fuel additive in there to clean your injectors preferably something that's um not synthetic hello i'm gonna have to replace that hose look at that i've got a leak there i'm gonna have to replace this oh have i ever I'm going to have to replace this this hose here over summer. That's problematic. I'll have to do that. I've just realised that. Um, so basically, there's a couple of things you can do before you have to, obviously have to take it to the mechanic and get them to plug it onto the EMS system and retune your car and check your mixtures. But they're the first things you should consider doing. And then check it after you've done all that. Now, also, the other thing too, with this mass block... Um, obviously being fairly heavy you can see the butterfly valve opens this way right what you should do is um take it off so take your air hose off take take all this off um disconnect this from obviously the air box and give it a good clean inside make sure there's no crud dirt that it's free flowing and then what you can do is start the motor up and accelerate it and that'll give you an idea of whether the butterfly valve is actually free flowing or if it's getting a bit jammed up as I said, a bit of silicon spray or WD-40 and just clean it out. Also, the throttle body. Now, I'm obviously going to have to do another major service on this over the summer break again. Um, it's going to be due for another big service. Um, I probably won't do spark plugs, but I may do leads if I've got enough money because the leads on this are not cheap. The other thing that could be bogging your system down sometimes, and I've, I've had this happen, is here with the spark pack. You can see it's all filthy. I've got to clean it again. But if you haven't got a good clean spark getting to the system, that can also weigh this motor down. While these motors are very resilient engines and they're as tough as all get out, being petrol though, they are prone to, you know, petrol petrol issues such as, you know, crud in the cylinders, dirty spark plugs. Um, you can see here the whole engine's just absolutely muddy as hell. I've, I need to clean it. So there's what you can check, Thomas. Uh, any other problems, don't hesitate to PM me. Um, after all, I rebuilt one of these cars, so they're, they're a beautiful car to work on. But as I said, um, you can also see I've got to clean, I've got to get this issue down there fixed too, so I don't end up running out of coolant. 
So that's your best bet. Any other issues, um, don't hesitate to get in touch with me, Thomas. More than happy to give you a hand. And uh, there's a quick 80 series video for a Sunday morning. We shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.